This video tutorial is part of the ScanX tutorial series by Pix Imaging. It shows you how to aim the camera, properly place a document, and starting a simple scan. When the perfect capture application is launched, you may see something like this. Now simply place the document to be scanned on the scan pad. Roughly adjust the camera so that more of the document can be seen. From here, you can see that the left and the right edges of the document are too near and touching the preview display boundaries. This shows that the camera is too low and needs to be raised higher. The camera can be raised higher by adjusting the rear hinge of the scanner. Now the document edges are no longer touching the display boundaries and each has a significant gap. The camera height is now proper for scanning. Next, we will adjust the camera angle. Now, the camera can see outside of the scan pad at the top. However, if the camera angle is adjusted too much, it will now see outside of the scan pad at the bottom. To help with the angle adjustment, locate the two white labels at the top of the scan pad and adjust the angle such that the labels are just touching the top display boundary. Ensure that the camera does not see outside of the scan pad. The camera angle is now properly adjusted. Next, place the document such that all its four corners can be seen clearly, together with their respective document detected indicators. Here, a portion of the document lies inside the translucent blue band, which is the forbidden zone. Firstly, try to shift the document as far away from this zone without letting the document go out of camera's view. Next, adjust the stand angle and the forbidden zone should move upwards like this. Now that the document is entirely out of the forbidden zone, it is ready to be scanned. Click on the scan button or simply tap the space bar to initiate scanning. Once the document is captured, a corresponding thumbnail will appear in the thumbnail column on the left. A progress indicator shows that the document is now being processed. Without waiting for processing to complete, the next document can be placed and captured almost immediately after the first capture. After capture, the next corresponding thumbnail will appear. To view, save or edit a document, simply click on its thumbnail. To zoom in or out, use the scroll wheel of the mouse and by pressing and holding the right mouse button, you can pan the image. Similarly, to view or edit another image, just click on its corresponding thumbnail. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Peaks.